Thanks to the Home Depot Seeds program, we're looking at the ruling square bathroom two-piece robe and tile hook set. It's made out of stainless steel. It's in a matte black finish. Looks like it's powder coated. And what you get with each of the pieces is four anchors, four screws, and an Allen key to secure the back bracket, which has four screw holes, which is not typical for this type of setup. Also included is a little one sheet that tells you how to assemble it and what tools you might need to put it together. The unit has a depth of two and a quarter inches. Its width and height are two and one eighth. It has a smooth finish to it, no sharp edges. And the bracket system uses a pin to hold the back plate in position once it's mounted to the wall. To install, you use the Allen key to pull down the pin so that the back bracket comes off. And this is what you're gonna to mount to your door or wall. One of the disadvantages of using the Allen key system to mount stuff is that you only have 180 degrees to turn because there's a wall usually right here on the back of this. So in reality, your turning radius is even less because you know, I have my big fat fingers that get in the way. And regardless of whether you use the short end or the long end, you're still limited to that range. So not my favorite system for mounting this type of hardware, but it's doable. It'll just take a little longer to secure due to the Allen wrench limitations. Most people would place this in their bathroom, but I'm actually going to put it in my garage because Sometimes when I'm out here, especially in the winter time, it gets kind of warm and I'll need to take off my jacket, so I need a place to hang it. And I thought, what a better use for this hook than in the garage. First thing we'll need to do is mark on the door where we want to drill. So I'm going to put the screw through the bracket, bring that up to the door. And once I'm happy that it's in the correct position, I'm just going to make a little mark with the screw so that my drill knows where to go into, right there. And I'm also going to double check the thickness of the door so that I know how far to go in. I know the screw won't travel all the way through the door, but I don't know about my drill bit. So I'm going to make sure that I mark my drill bit with some painter's tape so I don't go in too deep. We place our drill bit and we make our hole. So now we take our little bracket using the vertical slot on the sloped edge. We're going to use our screw. We're going to put that in. And because of gravity, it's going to hang down straight and level. Then we'll be able to put our second screw here on the bottom. Got a bit that's camming out. I'm going to switch to a different bit. Trying a different bit. Switching to an impact driver with a P2 screw, Phillips screw head on it. See if that makes a difference. It made a difference. Satisfied that it's hanging straight, I'm going to drill a hole here. And I may drill one here, but I'm thinking two is probably more than plenty for what this is going to hold, which is going to be, you know, like a jacket or something. Precaution has to be taken when using an impact tool that you don't damage the screws because often the torque is so much higher on the impact tool that it will start to deform the screw heads. With our second screw in, we take our hanger with an Allen key attached to it and simply place it over the top, catch the bottom, and now all we have to do is start going left to right, take it out, put it back in, left to right, until 
that Allen screw goes in far enough to keep this from coming off. Continue turning until the bottom of the screw is flush and you feel maximum resistance. But don't force it because you don't want to bend that plate. As you can see the Allen screw is actually beyond flush. It's actually gone in maybe a turn or two. But now the unit is secure and ready to do its job. Having completed installation of the first one, I can tell you that uh, I'm happy with the product. Don't care so much for the Allen system, but lots of hook systems use that. And all that it really means is it's going to take you a few extra minutes to secure that Allen screw to the back bracket. The product itself is nicely built with smooth edges, nice coat, looks like it might be powder coated. And it's not heavy, but feels strong enough to bear the weight of what it's designed to do. I would recommend this to anybody, especially since you get two in the set, which is going to save you money over buying these individually. If you found this interesting or useful, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, join the subscription team, and help keep commercials out of our videos. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching.